Hello everybody. Good morning. I want to take you through something that's been a blast for me. I'll tell you what, um, this just is one of those things, you know, the more we play our instruments, we just discover little things that make a big impact. So let me play you this and then I want to share it with you and break it down. I think this could help a lot of people and it's fun to play. You got a C harmonica. Goes like this. I was just messing around one day and I and I landed on this and I thought, man, this is a blast to play this and it's a killer bending workout. And I and I've I've got two variations for lines on the four chord, but the one and the fiver are stable. They don't change. They're they're consistent. Um, so let me break it down for you. Uh, just try this with me if you can. Um, again, a C harmonica. I think this is yeah. Just check it out. You're gonna t you're gonna use four notes per per line that we create. And so the first line for the one chord is this line of four notes. We take the two draw and it's all on hold two. What's going on, Joseph? Um, it's all on hold two. You're gonna play the two draw and I'll put this probably in the video description, I guess. Two draw, two draw half step bend, two draw full step bend, two blow. Let's just try that part together. So you notice that if, you've, if you're playing a 12 bar structure like I did, you'll play this line four times in a row. So go ahead and practice that, you know? And then for the four chord, the first pass, I took four blow, um, thanks David, and I played four blow, three draw half step bend, three draw full step bend, and two draw, and keep in mind that's just four notes like we said, We'll play this line twice. And now we're back to the one chord, which we'll now play this line twice. I'll give you the alternate four chord in a second. Now we're at the five chord, so we're at bar nine. If you're keeping track of 12 bar and you want to figure out where I am playing or where where I am in the progression, it's bar number nine. So, oh sorry. So it's one draw, two draw half step bend, three draw full step bend, and four draw. What an important series of notes to get down. We're really focused on the chord tones here. So if you look at the chords that outline your your 12 bar in the key of G, we're highlighting a lot, all that means is I'm highlighting and, and utilizing a lot of the notes that are found in the chords that I'm following. That's why it sounds good. And then for the alternate four chord, I came up with a different line and this is found in bar number 10. So we're nearing the end of the progression for 12 bars. It's one blow, two blow, two draw full step bend, two draw half step bend. And then we got one, we got a couple more of the one chord to play after that. Here we go, all together, I'm gonna go ahead um, and play this. You got it, no problem, happy to be going live. So let's, I'm gonna play the whole thing of what I just broke down. I'm gonna do it slowly, why? Because I want you to come back to this video if you haven't sub subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, that way you find out when I'm going live and you know what's going on in my channel. Uh, but I want to play it slowly so that you can come back and actually have a chance to... I notice that when I watch my videos, I get all worked up and I talk fast and I play fast. I apologize. Uh, somebody pointed that out uh, uh, to me in a post the other day. And, and I thought, well, he's not wrong. So I'm going to try to slow down here. One, two...
I think the other benefit of practicing this besides getting better at your bending and learning kind of an interesting little way to outline 12 bar blues is that you also get little pieces of this that'll start to come into your playing. You know, you can actually use these lines. The first one's a little different because it lands on a two blow, but I just kind of liked the way it sounded, so I, I left it alone. That's the way it came out when I first stumbled on this little exercise. So I hope that's something you guys can use. Thanks for tuning in into this broadcast. If you didn't hear the news, I'll be doing a separate post, but I run an online webinar called the Global Blues Harmonica Summits, and the one and only Kim Wilson will be joining this spring giving his insights and sharing stories. You don't want to miss it. Um, you can just bookmark the, just go to blowyourharp.com. And when you land on, that's just a forwarded URL that will take you to the web page And bookmark it. Tickets are not on sale, but just bookmark it, okay? And check it out. That's how you can support me. If you like this channel and you're wondering, I wonder how I can support Ronnie. He's putting up videos. Well, that's that's the way to do it. Oh, wow. What a trip. I just got a message that dropped down while I'm doing this live video from Kim. I have the date. I, oh, I'm, I'm very tempted to just tell you what it is right now. But instead, check out my next video. And you better believe it's going to be all about the Global Blues Harmonica Summit. See ya.